Hello students, so we'll continue our review for the pre-final examination in your basic calculus. So this is the part 3, actually no, part 3 na ito. So yesterday, I said already the part 1 and part 2 of our review. So for the first question, what is the derivative of y is equal to the square root of 4x minus 5? So we have a four choices here. So what we're going to do first, uh, we all know that the square root of 4x minus 5 can be transformed into 4x minus 5 raised to 1 half. So if we're going to get the derivative of this, so getting the derivative of 4x minus 5 raised to 1 half, okay, that means, okay, we're going to erase this one para di magulo. Okay. So, up, so what we're going to do, so we all know that we're going to multiply this one half times dito, no? So, it will become one half times 4x minus 5 raised to one half minus 1. So, we all know if we're going to subtract 1 half minus 1, that will become 1 half times 4x minus 5 raised to negative 1 half. Since 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. Then after that, since bawal tayo magkaroon ng negative sign, so 1 half times, okay, ibababa natin ito. No? So, magiging 1 over 4 x minus 5 raised to 1 half. Okay, so magiging ganyan. So, that will become 1 times 1. So, that is 1 over 2. So, ibabalik natin no, in radical form. So, that is 2 square root of 4x minus 5. So, we're going to transfer here. So, mula dito, no, mula dito, pwede natin kunin, okay, yung derivative. Okay, so dito pala ay or na chain rule lang gamitin natin. So pwedeng gamitin natin yung chain rule, no? So 1 over 2 square root of 4x minus 5 times okay, the derivative of 4x minus 5. So after that, so we all know the derivative of 4x minus 5 is 4. So 1 over 2 times square root of 4x minus 5 times 4. Then multiply lang natin. 4 times 1. So that is 4 over 2 square root of 4x minus 5. So the answer is 4 divided to 2. So mga cancel natin to no? Over square root of 4x minus 5. So based dito sa choices natin, what letter kaya? So letter C. Okay, so ito yung sagot natin, letter C. Alright, for the next question, we have find the derivative of y is equal to negative 2 over 2x minus 1. Okay, so pwede natin gamitin dito yung quotient rule sa pagkuha ng derivative. So first, what we're going to do, okay, so... Kunin natin, y prime is equal to, kung babalikan natin yung video about uh, getting the derivative of the, using the quotient rule. So, what uh, what we're going to do is, first, okay, kunin natin yung denominator. So, copy the denominator, 2x minus 1, and then multiply natin, okay, we're going to multiply this sa numerator natin, which is negative 2. Then, subtract, copy the numerator times the derivative of our denominator. Okay? And then, all over, squared natin yung denominator natin. So, maging 2x minus 1 squared. After that, okay, simplify natin. So, that is, so erase lang natin to. Okay. 
So after this, so 2x minus 1 times, okay, the uh, derivative ng negative 2 is 0. So times 0. Minus, so negative 2 times, what is the derivative of 2x minus 1? Is 2. Okay? All over 2x minus 1 squared. Okay, 2x minus 1 squared. Then, simplify again. So, 2x minus 1 times 0, the answer is 0. Minus, okay. So, this is negative 2 times 2, that is negative 4. So, this is negative 4 all over 2x minus 1 squared. And after that, so 0. So, negative times negative, that is positive 4 all over 2x minus 1 squared. Or, it's simply that is 4 over 2x minus 1 squared. So, meron ba tayo dito? Okay. So, naka, uh, so need natin expand itong sa denominator. So, magiging 4 all over. So, lagay na lang natin yung solution natin dito sa task. So, 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. So, that is 2x times 2x, that is 4x squared. 2x times negative 1, that is negative 2x. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And then, combine similar terms. 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. So, the, ito yung expanded form ng denominator natin. So, 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. Plus 1. Okay, so again, so this is the answer. So, hanapin natin sa choices. So, alin dito? So, that is 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. So, letter D. Okay, so letter D and sagot ito. Okay, next. For question number 3, we have to determine the derivative of y is equal to... Uh, negative 5x cubed or the quantity of negative 5x cubed minus 3 cubed. So, first, okay, pwede siguro, pwede tayo gumamit ng chain rule dito. Okay, so, paano ginagawa yun? So, si exponent, imumultiply muna natin. So, 3 times, so, negative 5x cubed minus 3 squared, mababawasan. Saka natin siya imumultiply Yo, sa derivative nung nasa loob, ito. So, it will become negative uh, 5x cubed minus 3. Copy first. Okay, then copy again. 3 times negative 5x cubed minus 3 squared times, what is the derivative of negative 5x cubed minus 3? So, this is 3 times negative 5. So, negative 15x squared. So, therefore, kapag minultiply natin si negative 15x squared dito, magiging negative 45x squared. Then, copy lang natin si negative 5x cubed minus 3. So, based sa choices natin, what is the answer? So, that is negative 45x squared minus 5x cubed. Okay, so negative 45x squared times negative 5x cubed minus 3 squared. Okay, nakalimutan ko yung squared dito. So, letter A ang sagot. Okay, so letter A. Next. So, find the derivative of f of x is equal to x plus 7 over x minus 2. So, dito pwede natin gamitan ng quotient rule again yan. No? Pwede natin gamitin ang quotient rule. So, paano ginagawa yun? F prime of x. So, copy natin yung denominator first. Then, multiply natin sa derivative ng numerator. Minus, copy the numerator. And then, multiply natin sa derivative ng denominator. Then, all over the squared of our denominator. So, the squared natin to. Then, simplify. So, copy x minus 2 times. 
So, what is the derivative of x plus 7? So, x na lang to, so 1. Minus x plus 7, copy x plus 7. What is the derivative of x minus 2? It's 1 also. Okay? Over x minus 2 squared. And after that, that is x minus 2 times 1, that is x minus 2 minus x plus 7 over x minus 2 squared. Okay, lipat natin dito, so that will become, so x minus x, 0 na, the negative 2 plus 7, that is, ah, so, so sorry, so this is magiging ano pala, wrong. Kasi naka ano pala tayo. So, ang, hindi natin nabago yung sign as, ng subtrahin natin. So, this is negative x, tapos negative 7 dapat. Okay, so hindi natin nabago yung subtrahin natin. So, therefore, okay, therefore, the answer here is negative 7. Okay, so makakancel natin ito. x minus x is 0 na. So, negative 2 minus 7, that is negative 9 over x minus 2 squared. So, alin kaya sa choices natin? So, that is letter C. Okay? So, last question for this uh, video sa so part 3 na to. So, here, kailangan natin kunin muna yung derivative niya. Saka natin i-substitute yung negative 5. So, f prime of x is equal to, so again, multiply natin si 1 half times negative 3x plus 9, then 1 half minus 1. So, that will be the answer, no? Okay, so, or, oh, ayan, 1 half minus 1, so that will be negative 1. 1 half, okay? So, again, so this will become 1 half times negative 3x plus 9 raised to negative 1 half. So, after this, pwede natin i-multiply. Gamitin natin yung chain rule dito, no? Kaya yung ginawa natin kanina. I-multiply natin ito sa derivative nuna sa loob, which is negative 3x plus 9. Okay, so just copy uh, 1 half. Ito, copy nyo lang lahat yan. Negative 3x plus 9 raised to negative 1 half times Okay, anong derivative ng negative 3x plus 9? That is negative 3. Okay, saka natin i-multiply dito. So, magiging 1 half times negative 3. So, 1 times negative 3, that is negative 3 over 2. And then, uh, ito ay magiging, oh, copy lang natin ito. Negative 3x plus 9 raised to negative 1 half. So, mula dito, mula dito, i-substitute natin yung f prime of negative 5. So, papaitan natin yung x ng negative 5. So, this is negative 3 over 2 times negative 3 times negative 5 plus 9 raised to negative 1 half. Okay. So, bracket natin to. So, ang daming parenthesis. So, this is negative 3 over 2. So, negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15 plus 9 raised to negative 1 half. So, this is negative 3, okay, negative 3 over 2, and then 24, 24 raised to negative 1 half. Okay, so pwede natin isulit to as negative 3 over 2 times is negative yung exponent natin, 1 over 24 raised to 1 half. Or, sulat natin dito, <coughs> this will become negative 3, okay? So, negative 3, that will become negative 3 over 2 times 1 over square root of 24. Okay, kasi yung 24 raised to 1 half, pwede natin sulat the square root of 24. So, magiging ganito na siya. Negative 3. Okay, negative 3 of, over 2 square root of 24. So, dito kasi sa choices natin, siguro kailan pa natin expand. Okay, so ilipat natin yung solution natin dito. Mahaba pa na ito. So, dito, ilipat natin. 
So, we have negative 3 over 2 square root of 24. So, yung mumultiply natin. Or, pwede natin kunin, no? Yung, two square, ay, yung square root of 24. So, you know, class, that square root of 24 is equal pwede natin yan as 4 times 6. So, pwede 2 square root of 6. So, negative 3, 2 times 2 square root of 6. The answer is negative 3 over 4 square root of 6. Since may radical tayo dito, multiply natin both numerator and denominator by square root of 6. So, this is negative 3 square root of 6 over 4 Okay, 4 times 6, that is 24. Okay, so ito mga cancel natin. Okay, so the answer, will, the answer here is, okay, so wait. Uh, so negative 3, okay, square root of 6, and then that will become, so, pwede natin i-lowest term to no? Yung 3 over 24. So, that is 1 over 24. So, magiging negative square root of 6 na lang by 3. So, that is 8. So, negative square root of 6 over 8. So, letter C and second. Negative square root of 6 over 8. So, that's the end of part 3. So, next natin is yung part 4.